Oh dear, what do we have here? So you're restricting the travel was from China only. That the coronavirus was present in the United States as far back as in December 2019. It's more than one million WHO to place. Ten years ago, we had gun violence. Today, we still have gun violence. You mean to tell me America bombed its way to peace and democracy? America first. Ow. With the highest number of confirmed cases and deaths, a champion of the COVID-19 resilience ranking is what you see. There's no need to go out of your way to be the first America. Without tracking, the deadly virus went out of control. You're the first in number of COVID cases and deaths. Manipulating WHO is fun. You're the first in the polarization of rich and poor. It's too late for quarantine to let the poor and old. You're the first in number of foreign wars waged. You're the first in terms of gun violence. America first added to not what come to the world. You're the first in number of deaths from drug use. Information gerrymanders collection results. You're the first in number of prisoners, most of whom are people of color. If your system make you all, but it costs so many walls. Oh dear, oh dear, this really makes me irritate. Makes me irritate at the mission of kickback. It's that time of the year again, fellas. You know, that scary time when Valentine's coming up and you have to think of a gift to give to your significant other. Let's face it, they pretend to like flowers, but hey, it's getting old. Chocolates, I mean, everyone likes chocolates, but you know, she probably doesn't appreciate it since she started that new diet. Wait a second, I've got an idea. Who doesn't like money? And more importantly, who doesn't like something to carry it around in? Oh, I hope this is gonna work. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? I've been really Extra wallets make the best gifts, and no joke, if you're wondering what you can get for Father's Day, for Mother's Day, for a birthday, for a Christmas, for anything, anything. How about just, uh, it's Tuesday, let's get a gift for someone you love. Extra's the wallet for you. It's sleek, it's high-tech, it's fantastic, it's durable. I've had mine for years and it's survived all of my shenanigans working on cars and motorcycle riding and all that other kind of nonsense. Still looks fantastic. I also like the fact that it accommodates an air tag, so I don't need to worry about leaving it behind as my phone alerts me if I've left it in my car, for instance, or in my office. Fantastic stuff. And you can get a huge discount if you go over to shop.exta.com forward slash serpentza. Right now, there's a great deal going, so you can pick something up for your significant other. And they have styles for all tastes. Classy, rugged, stylish. Again, go to shop.exta.com. Use the code serpentza at checkout and you'll get a massive discount. And now, back to the show. Let's all wake up, come down to earth, and have a talk about how cringe and also how dangerous China's attempts to divide and conquer us are. If you're curious what this tasteless tripe that you've just seen is, it's Chinese official state propaganda tastelessly pointing fingers and laughing at the suffering and anguish that so many around the world have had to face at the hands of COVID. And yes, this tone-deaf carnival show is 100% Chinese state media. New China TV is Xinhua, and Xinhua News Agency, or New China News Agency, is the official state news agency of the People's Republic of China. Xinhua is a ministry-level institution subordinate to the state council and is the highest ranking state media organ in China. And who is the Karen constantly complaining about the USA and dressing up in whiteface? Seriously? Altering your eyes with contacts and wearing a wig is kind of trashy. Just don't do whiteface. Really? Well, this Chinese Karen is also the same hostess who has participated in awfully racist and distasteful propaganda in the past. For instance, when she made fun of Indians by dressing up a co-worker in the most ridiculously stereotypical and insensitive way. China's realized it's impossible to awaken a guy who's pretending to be asleep. Nobody's blaming me because I'm asleep. <laughs> 
He's building a pass in his garden? I mean, danger! <laughs> wow, this is China's current embarrassment. Her name is most unfortunately Dear Wang. She didn't understand why people were making fun of her name until I had a word with her the other day explaining that Wang in English is slang for penis. And it may not be the best idea to choose Dear Penis as your English name spelling. Thankfully, she took my advice and changed it almost immediately after to Dear Wong. Prove it. <laughs> How to prove something that doesn't exist. Probably should have done that years ago, but hey, better late than ever to stop calling yourself a Bambi's member. It's freaking me out! <laughs> this pathetic and ham-fisted propaganda is aimed at you. Yes, you, the English-speaking world. Its purpose is to sow division, muddy the waters, and take advantage of those who are too tied up in their partisan politics that they actually don't know or care what's happening in China. In fact, Let's take one example from the silly music video. I mean, the whole music video is one big projection in an attempt to blame China's shortcomings on the West. But the fact that she tries to make the USA look discriminatory for restricting travel from China whilst China restricts travel from the entire world shows how these videos are crafted and targeted towards the sensibilities and partisan politics of Westerners. What's stupid about this nonsense is that it's freely allowed to spread and has been posted on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and other social media that is blocked and banned in China, reaching their target audience, who is you. This is information warfare. Of course, it's dumb and most people will look at this clown show and it'll make them irritate, but this is the softer side of China's operations. It actually gets very, very sinister. I'm not saying that making fun of COVID deaths isn't sinister, by the way. I'm just saying the delivery of these silly music videos is just ridiculous. The same avenues that are used by state media to laugh at the misfortune of others and pretend that China hasn't itself been ravaged by COVID and is in fact the source of all the COVID misery in the first place are also used to target Chinese dissidents living abroad. Social media and legitimate organizations and individuals abroad are being hijacked by the Chinese state in order to surveil, harass, intimidate, and pressure any Chinese person abroad who has views opposing or conflicting with the Communist Party of China. In fact, the biggest perpetrator of anti-Chinese operations across the world is the Chinese government. They have entire divisions of the government tasked to this. Operation Fox Hunt the clandestine police stations, and, as previously mentioned, the hijacked institutions and individuals who abroad do their bidding. For example, the Confucius Institutes and other Chinese language institutes, which, under the guise of language and cultural programs, seek to police any activity related to China on campuses in America and abroad. Or the China-linked protesters who hijacked the anti-Asian hate movement to make it seem like any legitimate criticism of the Chinese Communist Party is racist, conflating an entire racial group of people with an authoritarian government. I mean, I don't need to remind people that Vietnamese people, Japanese people, Korean people, Indonesian people, Malaysian people, Taiwanese people, Indian people, etc., etc., all of whom are Asian, have nothing to do with the Chinese government, or China for that matter. But somehow, they hijack the movement in a bid to make people believe that criticism of China's horrible COVID mishandling or Uyghur genocide somehow translated into attacks on Asians. It's the same as saying that criticism of the German government somehow translates to attacks on all Europeans or some such nonsense. We need to stop allowing a foreign government and its well-funded propaganda organs and agents, including the foreign agents operating within our borders, from dividing us with impunity. Why are there no warnings on these accounts? Why is it that China blocks all freedom to share propaganda within its borders, yet the world allows China to freely take advantage of our social media, freedoms of speech, our educational institutions, and our sensibilities? Remember, 
This isn't a friendly government giving us constructive criticism here. This is a sinister government who laughs at our misfortunes and stokes the fires of hatred and division, with the ultimate goal of weakening our countries and societies whilst forbidding and attacking any and all who even attempt to criticize its own very troubling issues. Be warned, guys. The CCP is no friend. It is an enemy to you and to the freedom-loving people of China and those abroad who dare question their rule. I hope through my videos and the videos uh, that myself and Lao 86 do, specifically through the China show, which we have every week, that's our live show where we talk to you about all the latest news in China, all the tricks and, and uh, different things they're doing to try and push soft power on you and so on. I really hope that you guys are getting an idea of how the Chinese government is really taking advantage of us, coming into our house, poking around, meddling, messing with people, trying to stoke hatred and division amongst the people in free societies. It's their ultimate goal to weaken the rest of the world. This is what the CCP wants. It wants ultimate power over everything. It wants to shape the narrative of China in a way that cannot be challenged. It wants to be top dog. And you know what? In all honesty, I wouldn't care if China became the number one economy in the world or if China became the, the wealthiest country in the world. What I do care about, though, is at what cost. The Chinese government has proven over the past few decades that they are detrimental to the health of the world. I'm talking about um, not just political stuff, not just the human rights atrocities that they do and the, the, lacks of, the lack of freedom that they export all over the world through their terrible operations like Operation Fox Hunt and all their silencing and intimidation tactics that they have against any dissidents abroad and uh, keeping an eye on what the Chinese diaspora are allowed to say and do in free countries. I'm not talking about that only. I'm also talking about the absolutely detrimental effect that China has had on the world's ecology. Destroying the seas, destroying the, the ozone layer, destroying the, the earth. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous just how much pollution, wanton, unchecked pollution, China's putting out right now. They've completely destroyed nature within the borders of China. They rely on importing all of their food because they've destroyed all their arable land. They're in a bad way. And there's no way I would ever be comfortable with a country that is so irresponsible, not only with nature and ecological issues, but also with the freedoms and human rights of the minorities and just Chinese people in general within the borders of China. I would never be comfortable with a government and a country like that ruling the world. So it's time to start putting your partisan politics aside. It's time to focus and see who the real bad players are. And the real bad players are the people on behalf of the Chinese government whispering poison in your ear. I would like to remind each and every one of my subscribers, whether you're Chinese or not, but specifically if you are Chinese, the FBI has put out an advert uh, here it is up on the screen in Chinese. If you are at all the victim of any kind of meddling, oppression, intimidation, badgering, harassment by somebody that you suspect is connected to the Chinese government, maybe someone who's threatened to tell the police overseas in China what you're doing, maybe threatened your family, maybe threatened you and told you, well, just in in general, it could be a classmate if you're at a university here. It could be somebody who's sending you emails. Anything. Anything that you think is linked to transnational repression, which basically means the Chinese government trying to silence you or interfere with your life. Please reach out to the FBI. They're waiting for your call. And quite seriously, right now, America is taking this kind of thing very seriously. In the past, I understand that you might have thought that they wouldn't take you seriously or it might put you in greater danger to try and speak to the authorities here in America. But if you are in America, I can't say for other countries, but right now, if you are in America, please reach out to the FBI. It's, it's time to put a stop to this absolutely disgusting overreach that the CCP has over here in this country. Anyway, until next time, you know the drill, as always. Stay safe and stay awesome.
Me, you've had enough of me and had fallen in love with another bitch. Watch how dear.